You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes. Let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Nobody knows what day it is, what time it is, where we're at, what we're doing. You know, it's going to be fine when all three of us are going, what day is this? And, And the biggest thing is... What do we do here? This isn't, is it time for entertainment news already? No, that's the end of the show. Uh, well, this might kind of clear some of this up. It happens to be National Cosmopolitan Day. Well, the cocktail, not the magazine. Oh, wow. Now, this actually, this is, you know what? And I guess I could have figured out if I gave it time, but it's kind of cool to think Cosmopolitan Day. If you're familiar with that, the, the base of it is cranberry juice. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of booze in that. This, well, it was launched back in 1968 by the Ocean Spray Company. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to. What the drum up sales? And it had been. Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice, of course, was pretty much marketed to kids. Yeah. They wanted to gain market share. Get it to adults, so they started publishing oh. in print. Little things. Hey, I you know what? We were going to say they were they were trying to get the kids to drink the booze. No, <laughs> you don't have to get kids to do that. They just instinctively know this because <laughs> we're great role models. <laughs> and so, yeah, they published a little recipe: ounce of vodka, cranberry juice, throw a little squeeze of lime in there. Now, of course, a traditional, a real cosmopolitan is that the vodka, cranberry juice, lime, but also either. Uh, Quintro or triple sec and mm-hmm. jazz it up a little, a little bit. Up. I was thinking there was a lot yeah. more booze in it than that. Just one ounce? You're thinking of a Long Island iced well, you tea. Well, can, you can put as much vodka in it as you want. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking I must But a one be... ounce pour is generally a pour, yeah. Huh. I must have been... Well, then again, I'm a bit of a lightweight. <laughs> I remember trying that one time. I was thinking it was a Cosmo that I tried. Maybe it was something else. Probably. I have no idea. Could have been, but there you go. And by the way, and Heidi, you probably know this, but uh, cranberry juice, excellent to take care of uh, urinary tract infections, yeah. too. <laughs> Why did you put it to me? Because I didn't want to point at John, because he'd say, yeah, I remember when I had one of those, and then here we'd sit <laughs> listening to that. No, Heidi has had those, and she has used that. It is, because I don't know. Females are complicated. God bless them all, but good Lord. <laughs> don't know how all this stuff works, but thank goodness for cranberry juice. Oh, God. It's time to take a break. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show <laughs> Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, time <laughs> now for Manly Man doing manly things in a manly fashion. Manly man are we. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Just keep it rolling. <laughs> We're good. No, I'm good. Give me just one second. I'm going to adjust my meds. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to check my privilege because that's a thing now. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> oh, almost a lost art. And uh, this actually came to light with, uh, with my son oh, yeah. a few days ago. Every now and again, he lives in Portland, Oregon these days. But what's really kind of sweet, he will call me on occasion just looking either... To have just a discussion, because yeah. we're different generations and, you know, whatnot. And we ended up more of a debate thing. Okay. He was on one side, I was on the other side. Yeah. But we're both more than willing to listen to the other. And so what we're talking about here, manly men, the art of a logical argument. Because oh, yeah. yeah. any more these days, social media, TV, everything oh, you see, gosh. everybody's just out angry. And everybody's outraged and everybody's right or everybody's wrong. Yes. and. And it was really interesting to me because listening to his side, and I won't get into details. It wasn't it was, politics, was it? No, I uh, kind of. Was it? It was kind of. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's out in the land of free thinkers now in Portland. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he get, gets a lot of that. But he will, if he's questioning something himself and he doesn't have the answer, he will call me and, and we'll get into it and we'll discuss it. But it was just really nice. And I wasn't really trying to persuade him one way or the other. It was just, this is what I think and mm-hmm. here is why. And it was very logical, methodical, based on experience and, and fact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And after we hung up, I just thought, huh, it's interesting. Most people actually used to do that. That's the way it used <laughs> and to be. And now very few do. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I yeah, it's out of control. Don't, 
I don't ever comment on anything in the Sioux Falls well, Rants and Raves. Well, then that's it. Or you just shut up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you no. just shut up. Ha- yeah. Are you in the group Sioux Falls Rants and Raves? I read it for laughs. I- yeah. Have you ever made a comment no. in there? No. No, you I, don't dare. No. I, I am not a sidelines guy usually. I'll get involved in a conversation. It's insane on there. I, I've actually typed out a response one time, and I just got ready to hit send, and I was like, what am I doing? I'm not... I'm not going to get down in the. It's because it's social them. media. Everybody can just hide behind the just platform. Delete, you know? delete, delete, oh, delete. Yeah. I'm talking go toe to toe, go face to face. I mean, what you see on Facebook, whatever you tell that person to meet you and talk about it, have, they aren't going to. Have you ever done that? Nope. Like you meet somebody who is like uh, really not so nice on Facebook, then you meet him in person and they're really nice to you? Yeah, I usually have to go to their mom's basement, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on Sunny 93.3. Do you need a gift for a silly friend? Weirdgiftoftheday.com has many ideas. Each day, we share a different weird gift idea. There's no fee to sign up. You don't even need to buy anything. Just follow our page on Facebook to get a laugh every morning. Weirdgiftoftheday.com. If you do like an item, you can easily buy it right from the Facebook page. We have a link going right to that page at weirdgiftoftheday.com. That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Sunny 93.3, time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Let us take a little stroll down to City Hall. Oh, okay. Okay. If you recall a few weeks ago, uh, the mayor and some of the council people, Teresa Staley, Pat Starr, and... The rest, uh, some I don't know if it was found in a dumpster or what, but just baggies full of cash, small unmarked bills. It was like isn't that four, crazy? Four point six million dollars. What are the it was, odds? It was a uh, tax overpayment. Just laying. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, so it was our money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Okay, because they keep saying it's like city dollars. All right. <laughs> okay. Extra. This, it's just extra. But it's being earmarked. It has now been okay. They're going to take a mill, buy out some of uh, the flooded homes. Homeowners there are people on Facebook district. very upset about that. And also a million bucks for a triage for drug abusers, alcoholics, yeah, whatever, right. something that, you know, that makes sense. Now, another additional two mil for, for pothole repair. Nice. About time. Yep. Nice smooth roads. That'll take a lot of the people that are angry and make them angry about something different. That's a lot of money. What's interesting about that is I was under the understanding with all the potholes, talking to the guys in the city who actually take care of that. They said, no, we got the dough to get it all done. But yeah. now That's here's what I was just going to ask. Isn't, shouldn't that funding have already been in place? So why will it take I don't know. more? It's interesting. But that still leaves over half a million dollars there. And from what I understand, because I have moles everywhere. Yeah. Make no mistake. <laughs> I got, you wearing a wire first? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That they're thinking about pretty high end uh, workout center, city hall, bowling alley, maybe an on site <laughs> on site masseuse. I love you long time. I don't think any of that. I don't think any of that is in. The, I'm just the, saying I got people. Yeah, your people are watching something else. Let's keep an eye on that. See if the mayor starts showing up in some of them. Four hundred dollars sneakers, <laughs> bowling shoes, yep. uh, meetings. Yeah, we're watching. I don't think any of that's happening, but I appreciate the up to the minute report. Oh boy, what I do? Fingers on the pulse, man. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Sunny ninety three point three. It's t shirt weather. Be sure to show your fun side with a funny t shirt from FunkyMonkeyShirts dot com. We have several funny shirt designs that will make you look cool while you stay cool. Do you have an idea for your own shirt designs? We can help you make it a reality at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Find thousands of t-shirt designs from people just like you and add your own designs too at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. We have a really nice bonus. We have Jennifer Stensos joining us right now. She's the Marketing and Communications Director with Feeding South Dakota. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Awesome. Now, you guys do an amazing job, and you're you're constantly – do you know like how many tons of food go through that? It's a big place out there. A lot of food, isn't it? Let's do the math. 12 point – Statewide, let's do statewide, 12.2 million pounds. Holy cow. That's enough to keep me uh, fed for a week or two. (laughs) That's That's, that's enough to feed a whole state. It's a few ton. So feeding South Dakota, and you guys really are feeding South Dakota. 
and people listening right now can actually help this Saturday. You got really a cool thing that you're doing. And what? Do, how do you describe what you're doing, and how can people get involved? Right. Well, this Saturday is the 27th annual Letter Carrier Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive. Um, this is a one day food drive uh, nationwide in which we participate in um, all across the state of South Dakota. Um, so specifically in Sioux Falls, our goal is to raise nearly eighty thousand pounds oh, wow. of food, and we know that our community can support that. Now, if people want to get involved, how do I do this? What do I do to make sure that the the food goes to the right place and gets picked up this Saturday? Yes, it's the easiest food drive ever. So be looking out for a postcard that will come to your mailbox this week. And then in the Sioux Falls area and surrounding communities, you you will may also see um, a plastic bag that will be dropped off by your letter carrier. So just fill that bag up with non-perishable food items that you maybe have a recipe that you haven't finished yet or you decided not to make and go ahead and give us those ingredients. Um, things that we're looking for are cereals, peanut butter, um, helper meals, nice. canned vegetables and canned meats. Um, actually, the thing, the same things that you're buying for your food pantry are the same things that we're looking to stock our food pantry with. The kind of stuff your family likes to eat, these other families yes. would probably like to eat as well. Yes. I mean, it's okay to clean out your, your cupboards, but hey, <laughs> if nobody wants that can of sardines, <laughs> I don't want to eat it either. <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing that I... I think is really interesting is that, you know, sometimes people don't help because they're like, well, I don't even know what to give. Well, here's a great chance. Yes. It, and I don't know where I would take it. How about to your mailbox? Your mailbox. <laughs> Put mean, it out. Yeah. Leave it out by eight o'clock on Saturday morning and the letter carriers will pick it up for you. That's the, that's the hardest thing that you have to do is leave yeah. it by your mailbox. Just leave it out there. And the, the nice thing is they do the rest. They do. All of the rest is taken care of. Now, for people who are not familiar with Feeding South Dakota, how long have you guys been around? Well, we have an over. 40-year history in this community and across the state. Um, We also have a distribution center in Rapid City along with one in Pier. Um, But but I think the the one thing that people don't know is that our territory is the entire state of South Dakota. Mm. As a member food bank of in the Feeding America Network, we have an obligation to ensure that we're feeding people in all 66 counties. And we do that through partner agencies in the counties. Um, So that's along with our food pantry and backpack programs, our senior box program, and um, um, new our mobile food distributions that we're doing in rural areas. So if somebody listening is going, man, this just sounds like a great organization. I'd like to get involved. Are you looking for volunteers ever, or do you not really need that? Oh my gosh, we always need volunteers. <laughs> <I kinda thought laughs> I'm never gonna, no, I'm never going to turn those away. You know, there's so much to do between stocking food pantry shelves or packing um, boxes that get distributed on our mobile food pantries, packing backpacks. There's so much to do. Uh, go online to feedingsouthdakota.org and click on Donate Time. And what you'll see there are three different calendars for each of our locations, and then everything is is listed out there for what the job op- or what the volunteer opportunity is and the days and the times and you pick what's best for you. That is fantastic. What's that website once again? FeedingSouthDakota.org. You make it so hard. <laughs> I try to make it so easy. It is very easy. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Now, FeedingSouthDakota.org and I'm going to make it even easier. I'll throw a link on our Facebook Thank page you. to make that uh, all happen. And again, for this Saturday, when should I put the food out Friday night or should I wait till Saturday morning? You know, you probably could. Uh, I don't know what the weather is going to be like, but um, just okay. make sure you have it out there. Now, if you forget, um, it's okay because letter carriers will pick it up the following week too. Oh. So if you happen to forget and need to put it out Monday morning, they're going to be picking that up and be bringing it to us later in the week. Um, if you're just not around but still would like to participate, we encourage you to donate online at feedingsouthdakota.org. Very nice. Because for every $1 donated, we can provide three meals. That is fantastic. Yeah. Again, uh, Feeding South Dakota, thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate Thanks it a bunch. Me. And our guest is Jennifer from Feeding South Dakota. And I'm going to throw a link to the details about the big event this Saturday, the Stamp Out Hunger event, and then also just a link to their site if you want to volunteer. All of that will be at facebook.com slash sunny radio. As we get to wedding season, many events will involve alcohol. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. Call now to learn more at 1-800-290-0759. Or get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Sunny 93.3 time right now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Mm, Celebrities are fabulous. Uh, you know, I am intrigued. You might even say obsessed oh, yeah. with uh, with the Kardashians. Uh, 
You know, everybody seems to be, but not me. No, I, I roll with them. Because number one, I love rich people being one myself. So <laughs> it's kind of an identifiable type of thing for me. Uh, Kanye, you know, what is it called? Conchella, Coachella, whatever, Coachella, some big yeah, festival. Yeah. Okay, that no thing. Idea. Well, that happened over, uh, over Easter yeah. weekend, okay. Easter Sunday. Well, apparently he got up on stage and he... He held Easter services. He did. did. He? he preached it. Really? He had like 50,000 people. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes. I had no idea that he was Well, apparently that. he's really into that, and now he is saying he's going to open and start his own church. I'm not, ma- I'm not making this up. I never know with you if this is for nope. real or... That's pretty cool. And according to my people who know these things... What, and I love this quote. Kim Kardashian apparently doesn't plan on being a traditional pastor's wife, if this comes to be. Really? Oh, I don't know. It might be that whole sex tape thing. I don't know. I just Jeez. But uh, this may come to fruition. Apparently, Kanye's into it, and it's saying here, and maybe a lot of people don't know this, but Kim Kardashian and Kanye both, yes, we're both big Christians. That's and wonderful. And da 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 and fire up his own, his own church. All righty. Huh. Kim Kardashian is quoting as saying, I'm 100% on board with this. Kanye wants to do it. Let's do it. Well, that's... I wonder what he's going to call it. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. Yeah, it's very interesting. Probably going to be Kanye's Church of the Open Wallet or something like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Just, I'm still wondering if Dan's making this up. because I'm not. I am not. <laughs> I am buying into this. I am up. not making... No, this is... Punch it up. The latest issue of People Magazine. It's right there. I think it's fantastic. It is right there. That'd be great. Do something good with your celebrity status. That'd be amazing. Why not? That's yeah. fantastic. I'm speechless because I still uh, just. You're for gonna have to reason, Google this, it. This sounds so <laughs> phony to me. Yeah. What are you? What are you saying? Sometimes I stretch the truth, John. <laughs> you're talking about packs of wolves running around Sioux Falls. Oh, you yeah. Told me that these ducks are free, and they I'm are free. For ducks, ducks are free. There's not a price tag on them. Yeah. See well. what happens. Go snag some ducks at Colville or the zoo <laughs> or something. Please pull you over. Just go. Yeah. Is there some law on this? And they'll go. Well. Well, uh, the books. there no. will be. Give us a week. <laughs> <laughs> They're working. They have a whole section it's, of it's people. It's known as the Dan Ferris Bill. Yeah. They, they, they actually have a the Dan whole. Ferris Duck Bill. <laughs> <laughs> they have a whole room full of people working on new laws just for Dan. <laughs> it's true. All right, Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Oh, my uh, my we pleasure. Appreciate you doing this. We'll see you at, uh, at Kanye's church on Sunday. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour on Sunny 93.3.